dear friends and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. I am so happy that you are here. It's been a while, my friends. <laughs> Apologize. Um, I, well, I just, a lot of stuff happened. I'm sure you are having lots of stuff happen as well. It just felt like that. That was the energy all around. Um, but I'm hoping to be back for good. Um, although I'm trying to learn how to arrange things a little bit different. Um, and adding different things to the channel. So we'll see how that all goes. But little by little uh, becomes a lot. That's the important thing. Um, so this week we're kind of focusing on angels. <laughs> I don't know. I just felt kind of called for it. It just felt like a week for it. So uh, um, there's also going to be like little readings throughout the week as well. Um, so I'm trying to add long, like at least one long reading, one medium reading, and then smaller ones, um, just to make things a little more exciting <laughs> and more manageable for me. And then adding other new things to the channel as well. So we'll see how it all goes down. Um, enough of my jibber jabber. I'm just beyond grateful you're here, but let's look at group one. So this is pile one. This is pile two. This is pile three. Oh yeah. I actually love all of this. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. Close our eyes. Clear our mind. And as we exhale and open our eyes, choose whichever pile draws you to it. All right, let's do this. Hello group one! So you chose this beautiful card. So this angel lets me know that it, of its presence with its power over the natural world. And so your angel, which is important this week, is the angel of the elements. So the elements are going to be um, of importance. So I, whenever I think the elements, I always think of, a fa of finding a balance between all of them, right? Um, our water, which is our emotions, our earth energy, which is the pentacles, which is um, a sense of abundance, a sense of grounding, air energy, feels a lot of air energy here, which is about thoughts, right? The, the ideas floating around. Um, and then, of course, the fire one's energy, which is all about creativity and passion. That's the sense of balance. So those are, be on the lookout for how those elements are, you know, like, are manifesting, are being portrayed in your life. And because this angel lets me know his presence with its power over the natural world. So I almost feel like there's a sense of balance needed here. All right, so let's go ahead and see what other things are coming this week. So, oh my goodness. Look at that. And this is this is the Colorology um, Oracle by V Love and Crystals of V Love and Tara. Bubble Gum, Dainty Cuteness Frolic. Oh, look at that. We have that one and it's being balanced by okay. Look at that. So we have I want you to see how interesting this is because we have kind of almost opposites. We have this bubble gum, which is like dainty cuteness frolic, and then we have the sense of fear. Hmm. So what I'm what I'm seeing here is with this element there is it's almost like I want to say that the fear is is um, definitely always feels like fear always comes from our, our like mind our thoughts, um, but this for me this is like such an earth energy, earth and wands energy coming combined here, the earth and the wands, um, a little bit of the air. So what I'm seeing here, <laughs> it's so weird, it's, it's an interesting, like when, when it kind of, so I'm seeing here being represented, I'm seeing the earth, right? So for me, that's like worrying about scarcity possibly, um, or, or, or where we don't feel stable, where we don't feel grounded. Um, the fire, the one sign um, with the with the wood there is the potential that there's potential for creativity. There's potential for um, passion. There's the potential for for something. But I feel like um, there needs to be grounding. There needs to be that that um, allowing. And then for me, with all the fog everywhere, it's um, and even the birds are like 
the thoughts, right? There's like a confusion here. And so what's what I'm noticing here that's really missing is for me, the water. And then that's the emotions. And then there's, this is what I'm seeing. The emotions are here. This is what, what, so it almost feels like we're getting the answer. How do I, how do I, Maybe not battle, but how do I overcome my fear? How do I face my fear? Because lately, that's something that I've I've been going through. Like <laughs> when I go away, it's usually I'm having a lot of like nine of swords energy uh, moments or ten of swords and moments. Um, but it it's it's a sense of like even if we have the problem, we already have the solution. Is what I'm seeing here. So really facing our fear. So the facing it is kind of almost like. This unicorn, it's, it's almost like a childlike wonder here. Instead of, I almost feel like complicating things, like can you look at it in with its like, with the potential for adventure, with the potential for like, hey, there's going to be something around the corner that's going to be cool. Or, um, yeah, I just, I just, I feel like there's like this sense of really listening to almost like your heart here. And it, even though this can kind of almost seems like the heart chakra here as well with this green kind of shade, it's really kind of listening to your higher um, heart chakra, which is more of, yeah, looking at it without not that fear. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I'm like, sometimes I just talk and I'm like, am I even making sense? I, I really do feel that though. Like the emotions here is very important and the, the emotion is to come looking at it through this innocence through this inspiration through this like frolic and dainty and just be like I mean like I could totally see that little cute unicorn just kind of frolicking there even though it may look scary you it like don't let it daunt you it almost feels like it's mostly a lot in your head and it, like I said I, I go through this quite often <laughs> so I'm there yeah okay and I, I do like this because it's being reflected with the seven of thoughts um the hangman energy which is interesting and then we have the moon energy um so what i'm seeing here is that again we're kind of hiding i almost feel like seven of swords energy and normally i would say like you know somebody is something that is like yeah i feel like Okay, you've been confused about a situation. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. You've been confused about a situation in your life and we have the fog there. And now you suddenly, everything is completely clear to you. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend, or discovered on your own, it feels great to wake, to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. So, what I'm almost feeling here is that all these worries have been preventing you from something. Now, this hangman energy which is beautiful and then you actually see that it's actually the clarity is coming so i feel like you're going through this fear fear and you're going to come out as a victor it is time to view things from a different perspective you have blessed gift to see the past past the current situation envision amazing possibilities right there the little our little unicorn yes don't worry the pause and the momentum will while you rethink your plan won't last embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you and that's the uniqueness is coming here twice because the unicorn is also very unique right and then we have the moon energy so intuition inside your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now so you can trust your guidance to lead you into the right direction follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't fall don't allow fear or worry to guide your way amy best best to keep your secrets to yourself and wow and that's actually in those that that part where it's best to keep your secrets to yourself might be something to do with that seven of thoughts seven of swords because somebody might be there looking out for it so just keep those secrets to yourself but i have to say um those cards just kind of we're just kind of into each other and we were talking about the bubble gum and it just everything wow <laughs> i love when cards like do that it's so cool all right let's see oh crossroads yep and, the, and this is the angel guidance we have here so look at this oh <laughs> sorry so we are at the crossroads um and this is the angel heart messages by v and crystals your angels are urging you to make important changes consider the options before you and now the options before you what are they are you choosing fear or are you going into your like kind of frolicking to whatever it is that you know is coming before you and i feel like you're ready you're because you're you have that unicorn you're unique my friend and you're meant to be happy here and then look at this and then the answer here is faith 
gives you strength to overcome anything. So faith, this is where it's coming from. And it's coming from your heart. And that, that, that again, it's, it's almost like your heart chakra is telling you something. It's telling you not to be afraid anymore. Um, it's telling you that things are, are working out. That things, you know, if you shift your perspective, you will see the potential that is before you. So that's pretty big. <laughs> and like I said, I actually feel like this is pretty much um, a lot. I understand a lot that's going through here. So this week, do not let fear stop you. <laughs> Listen to your intuition, which is telling you. Then your heart is leading you in a different route that is not based on fear. However, I will tell you this, that when we, when we have fear, it is not trying to ignore it, but rather face it. And, and by this, I actually mean like I have, when I'm having, I've been having a lot of that, um, where I have to just speak it out loud, where I say, okay, I'm afraid of this. Like, this is what I'm afraid. This is, and I speak it out loud and then I can actually fall asleep. And that's what I need to do. And I, I recommend you do something similar, right? We, most of us try to pretend with the seven of swords that everything's fine. We try to like rush over the fear, but the fear is always there. We, we're just trying to suppress it. Don't suppress it. Face it. So I hope this actually helps you this week. <laughs> and I'm glad to be back. I hope you're glad to have me back. Um, and I truly appreciate every single one of you. You are all awesome. I'm sending you so much love, so much light. Thank you for being here. Have a super duper wonderful day. Bye-bye, my friends. Hello, my friends from group two. Oh, let's see if we can get you a little more focused. There we go. So you chose this beautiful card. So this angel lets me know of its presence by guiding me on the right path. So what is angel is we're talking about? The angel of light. Oh my goodness. I love it. So you are being guided. Whatever it is, you're being guided to go through the, the right path. Um, it's, and by that, it's actually similar. Like, don't listen to... Um, more base emotions, but rather go to a higher level, if that makes sense to you. And I feel like that's important this week. Let's see what other things are coming through. Um, so we have winter and we have emotions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is from what I'm seeing here. This is like, yes. So this following the light is, is again, is saying, where are we dividing? Like what are, what emotions are we listening to? What are, what thoughts are we going to follow? Are we going to have the emotions were, you know, I would say, like, I think all emotions are fine. <laughs> like, I really do. Um, I've learned the importance of not saying that you have to be optimistic all the time or you have to be peppy and all that stuff. So we go through emotions. And here I feel with that winter there, it's okay to have those emotions. And not only is it okay to have them, but it's actually important to process them. Um, so sometimes what I what we tend to do is um, and I a little spoke about it in the group one here we tend to suppress a lot of our emotions because we deem them negative or because they don't feel comfortable totally understand um, going through that like recently so psh, I'm, I'm there with you my friend and so with this winter energy I'm almost feeling like oof, it's time for you to go give yourself like that winter for me is right now the hermit energy for me um, so go within yourself and actually kind of look at your emotions, actually face your emotions, actually really, you know, like journal your emotions out. That's what I do a lot of the time. I'm just like, when there's too much, there's like, I would call it clutter of emotions in my head, a clutter of worries, clutter of a whole bunch of stuff. What I do is I need to like actually do a brain dump of it. And I highly recommend that for you as well. So if you're having this, because that is how you're going through the light right now, yeah, it's guiding you. This angel let me know of its presence by guiding me on onto the right path. And sometimes we we have the guidance. We we just can't hear it. We just can't see it. We just can't hear it because again, we're we're suppressing emotions. We're we're not facing things. And when we're not facing things, they just keep coming back. <sighs> Tell you, I'm telling you, my friends. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm I've been there, done that. Oh, look at that. Yep. Yeah, five of abundance. We have five of pentacles. Three of abundance uh, with the empress here. And then we have the three of emotions. And look at that. Emotions, emotions coming through here again um, in abundance. So what I'm seeing here is this five of abundance. So for some of you, 
Five of Pentacle energy is you might feel um, left out in the cold, be it um, emotionally in terms of like maybe relationships um, or maybe you're feeling out in the cold in terms of uh, like not having enough money. Totally understandable too. And I, I'm, I'm there with you, my friends. I'm getting out of that as well. Allowing, trusting in the universe. Um, it's, it's not easy, right? It's, it's not, but I feel like what we're here and here it is is that you are abundance you have this empress energy you have this natural ability and what i'm here with that creativity though there might be answers that you're not um looking at that maybe are important and then three of cups three of emotions is actually letting me know here this is what i'm seeing here you have the ability i feel like if you ask for help right whenever you're feeling this lack of abundance or whenever you're feeling left out in the cold you have the ability to ask for help and the help will be given and it doesn't necessarily have to be a person it could actually be um i like to pray <laughs> right i i'm um that's something that i've learned recently more like over the last two years maybe or three years prayer is so important and i i know some people are not comfortable with it but if you are there is oh praying just it gives you this sense of peace that i you know like i don't it's very hard to reach in any other way I, at least i have um it allows me to face my emotions with that sense of prayer so what i'm asking what i'm saying here is if you need help always you know there's always some way for for you to receive it now let's go ahead and see this Five of abundance. There are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you. The situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed. <laughs> be patient. So for some of you, that, that is an important little message there. But look at this. What we're seeing following with this Empress energy. So much creativity, so much abundance. Dear one, you're being called to action. You've ready to, you're ready to accomplish great things and truly become into the fullness of who you are. It is time for great creativity, giving birth to love projects or becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. Do you see how there's always like, even though there's what we call like a, a, a challenge or a problem, there's always a solution. And what's your solution? Yes, people and support and i'm going to read that three of emotions but it's also your creativity right and here's the three of emotions wonderful news it's on its way announcement regarding engagement pregnancies birth or graduation will be revealed new friends will be made or communities of like-minded will be drawn closer to one another exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner right and look at that they all look at this we have that five of abundance the scarcity when we're, we're feeling alone but we are reminded that we are not never alone and that we actually have a lot more power than we maybe are giving ourselves to um acknowledging so that's why you know we have to face those emotions and look at this the three is a very important number for you we have three twice actually you have it like five times here but oh and then even with the angel of mastery so three 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 balance emotional physical and spiritual um and this balance uh has been one of those cards uh actually words that i've been um focusing on a lot recently so finding this balance so you need to find it emotional we have the emotions here physical and spiritual and all of them are here for you and then we have mastery your angels are helping you to improve your creative talents you are also being helped with upgrading your life look at this this is all interconnected my friends and as you can see even though you may feel alone even if you feel you know, like, oh my goodness, um, abandoned or some sort of thing where you are, you're not alone. You're definitely, your angels are there for you. Um, and friends and whatever it is, I, I just feel like if you need help, ask for it. You know, ask for help and it will be given. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please do consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. It really does help my channel grow. And um, to be honest, it keeps me motivated. I come back for you. Um, even when life gets hectic, I may take some time off, but I always come back because I, I'm like, yes, I connect to, to all of you. So, you know, I always do appreciate you 100%. So thank you so much. I'm sending you so much love, so much light.
And until I see you in the next one, bye-bye, my dear friends. Hello, my dear friends from group three. So you chose this beautiful card. I actually love it so much. So this angel gives me the strength to choose what is best for me in every decision I make. And what angel is this? It is this angel of self-worth. So this week we are focusing our self-worth. Um, I am noticing the, the, the red there. So maybe something to do with our feeling a sense of scarcity that seems to be a theme throughout um and, and needing a sense of a strong base and that comes from also from opening our hearts um coming through we also have oh look at the army green and memories okay so <laughs> harmony and I guess that's a sense of peace, nature, and sophistication. And again, with that green, again, it's sort of like your heart is, I, I feel like, huh, I almost feel like this week is important for your heart. And and this memories for me is that six of cups, or it might be like, um, or it might be a little five of cups energy because it's self-worth. So... And with the, with the mountains there, I feel like there were challenges, or there are challenges... I almost feel like somebody from your past might be coming through. Uh, somebody who possibly hurt you or, or made you not feel quite right. Or you didn't like the way you interacted with this person. Um, so, Or something in this week is going to come bring those things, those memories up again. Um, and then I want you to see something though. I want you to see the growth of yourself. Like there's, I feel like that's what this angel is coming through. The guidance here. It's like there you have grown a lot from the past you right the memories the past you you have grown a lot since then right you're not the same person you were and you're maybe you have achieved more harmony maybe you are more sophisticated now i almost feel like you can actually almost see the bigger picture you're you're, you're not um staking the tree for the forest right i feel like you can see a bigger thing um so i almost feel like that's something i feel like the, your angel here is very important saying it's like acknowledge the progress acknowledge the progress of of where you are now and where you have been right you are not the same and then that come and by acknowledging that self-worth is going to get better it almost feels like your confidence is going to get better you're going to see like hey you know what there i have i've overcome these mountains i've overcome the challenges um, I also feel like there's a great sense of if you're feeling scarcity, it's like, no, there's a lot of abundance around you. Um, there, it just may be about tweaking how you look at it. Um, maybe there might be even a clues on to do it in your memories. For me, it's, it's, it's more like whatever it is, like, I, I really do feel like it's either a person or like a situation that's going to challenge you this time. Because it, it's almost like you're ready to break um, a karmic cycle. You're ready to get over like this lesson that you've been going through over and over. It's now, it's now you're, you're at your breakthrough. And so you, whatever happens, whatever challenges that's coming through or whether it's a person or whether it's a situation, it's coming back because it needs you to clear it right now. Um, so we have new beginnings. Yeah. That's the full energy. We have the Ten of Abundance, which is coming through an ending, and then the Ace of Action. So we do, do you see we have two new beginnings coming through, and then we have a completion coming as well. Let's, um, I'm going to start with the, actually the Ten of Abundance, right? Why? Because I feel like that's where the ending is coming through. So here, Ten of Abundance, heaven has provided so many blessings. Your family members are bonded and working together. The children are provided for and comfortable retirement will be one one day come along. You've taught your family the grace that comes from knowing right from wrong and you should be very proud. And so <laughs> for some of you who don't have a family and who don't have any of that, what what you can see is that there are, you have many blessings. Um, you have the support. Maybe you were not acknowledging it. Maybe you're not noticing it, but you do have it. And one day you are going to be able to um, retire, right? There is a sense of retire well. Um, but there is a sense of you should be proud. There's a, uh, there's a pride here of like you've accomplished something. Whether it's financial because of the Ten of Abundance or maybe actually gathering people or, or family. 
um, you're not giving yourself enough credit. And I feel like that's why there's this challenge coming through here, right? This, this, and then a sense of like, now you're ready because you're ready to, I, like I said, you are at that threshold and you're ready to go on and leave behind, um, what I would call that karmic cycle or maybe like how you usually react to things. So new beginnings, you're at the beginning, you're at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There is no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way and you have unique gifts to offer the world if you would just free yourself from that which holds you back. New opportunities will pre present themselves if you truly believe, right? Lacking of believing, but I feel like that that's again the challenge that you're doing. You're going to have to take that leap of faith. And then we have the ace of actions. This cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, and pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action. If you've been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start new business. Have confidence in your abilities. Again, you see the confidence is coming back again. Have confidence in your abilities. You have progressed. Like there's been a lot of progress. You've been progressing all this time. So don't just, you know, be like, oh, it's over. No, it's it's not over. You're, you're starting here. <laughs> and here's your angel cards. We have protection angel 40. And this is by V11 Crystal. So your angels are letting you know that you are safe and protected. Feel the warmth surrounding you. Again, <laughs> you get this message twice like your angels are guarding you if you're thinking this leap of faith is scary yeah it is but you know what your guardian angels are there protecting you um and it also feel here with this peace after chaos so i feel like like i said there's like whatever challenge whatever it is because i do feel like it's coming this week that there might be a bit of a challenge but like your cards are quite beautiful so so i feel like you've been going through it um acknowledging that growth that you've been doing, acknowledging the peace after the chaos. Um, for me, that's important. It's like, yes, there's been chaos. There's been um, so many things and maybe like a lot has happened, but your self-worth, because we're, that's important here, it should like acknowledge the work that you've been doing, whether it's internal, external, it doesn't matter. You, you have, you deserve what great, amazing things that are happening in your life. Right? You have to acknowledge that. That's important for you. Um, so I hope this makes sense. If it does, please um, do consider subscribing and liking the video. Um, and letting me know if it does make sense. Or if you still, you think this is a different type message you got from all these cards. Um, yeah, because we, you know, everybody sees it differently. Um, and I would love to see what your thoughts are on it. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy that you are here. Um, you're the reason I come back, <laughs> even after I take a little break, um, um, yeah, I always come back because I know <laughs> it's important. Thank you so much. I'm sending you so much love, so much light until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friends.